What is happening everybody? Welcome back to another Formula 1 video and today we're going to be looking at Lance Stroll's 2017 Formula 1 Mini Helmet. Yo, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Grim, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Lance Stroll's 2017 Formula 1 Mini Helmet. Now guys, straight off the bat, this is a custom piece. So for people that don't know, Formula 1 Mini Helmets, not every single helmet has ever been made, right? But if someone likes a particular driver, they make custom pieces for that driver. So they get this all custom painted, the decals on it, and then they make a custom piece. Now, this piece right here is a custom Land Stroll 2017 Formula 1 Mini Helmet. Lance did not make a helmet back then. And I've been a Lance fan since he joined Formula 1 back in 2017. Been a fan ever since of Lance. I know he's not the most popular driver in the Formula 1 paddock. But I do my best to back up Lance every single time. Now, Lance Stroll has had three podiums, 277 career points. Had 150 entries in Formula 1. Is a Canadian racing driver that drives for Aston Martin at this point in time. At the age of 25, he's still going strong after all these years in Formula 1. Now, Lance is obviously driving for Aston Martin at this point in time. I do have a few of his Aston Martin pieces, but when he joined Williams, I need to get my hands on this bad boy right here. Now this I got off eBay.com. I saw it and I go, I need to get this piece. So it's a custom build as you guys can see. Here is a look at the helmet itself. It is signed a few times by Lance and it was one of the first pieces in my collection. At the back, it's not 100% lined up, but you can't complain. So it's so obviously got the Martini logo, the LS on the side, and a tinted visor, and it's signed by Lance at the front, at the back, and Lance signed it on the top. So I did get Lance a few times back in the days. I used to try and get as many signatures of the same driver on that helmet, and I did that, yeah, with Lance. I really wanted the visor sign, which I got. Back then, I wasn't really using uni paint pens, but I was using a marker, a thicker marker pen where it was still a paint pen. So obviously that's how the logo turned out. It's a bit, it was a bit too thick, but I cannot complain having that. And obviously the back Lance sign there. Back in those days, Lance used to be a pretty easy signature to get. Now he's on the much more difficult side. Lance doesn't really like to show himself around the crowded areas with the fans these days. But when he was driving for Williams, he was a super easy, cool signature to get. Now he's way more on the difficult side. I was able to get him this year in 2024 at the LGP. Not actually at the circuit, I got him elsewhere. Um, and at the circuit, he was literally just driving straight in, could not get him. So yeah, I really want to get Lance's 2024 helmet and 23 helmet and get them both signed. But is it a risk I'm willing to take? I do not know because Lance, like I said, is on the much more difficult side. So here is a closer look at the helmet, guys. Like I said, really cool piece. It is an array helmet, custom build, 18 on the top, and obviously it comes with all the uh, decals on it, and the actual helmet does have the blue at the back. Underneath the padding is a much thicker padding and is black. So that is Lance Stroll's 2017 Formula One mini helmet. I have to rate this out of 10. The actual helmet itself, like Lance's, I'm giving it a 10. Like I really love this helmet that Lance released back when he joined Formula One. I'm a massive fan of Lance Stroll, massive fan of his work, and I feel like that he deserves more credit than more people actually give him in Formula One. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know with all my short videos, I'm always trying to back up Lance every single time. But yeah, Lance Stroll is not loved by everybody, and I do cop a lot of criticism when I back him up, but um, we'll see what happens. If Adrian Newey goes to Aston, can we have a Lance versus Fernando championship battle? And plus, at the time of this recording, it's the Miami Grand Prix and Lance did out-qualify Fernando Alonso for this sprint race. So that's pretty interesting, guys. So I do have two of Lance's Aston Martin pieces. Obviously, it's one of his Williams helmets, which is obviously a custom. The other two were bought off F1 Authentics, already signed by Lance. But there is a custom pink version of his Racing Point helmet out there. Someone was fortunate enough to get it signed. I saw a photo of it. Really cool piece, and that's another custom. So Lance didn't actually start releasing mini helmets until his Aston Martin green helmet came out. So that's when I started getting them officially. Obviously, I already have this one in the collection because it's a custom. And then his pink one back in 2020, which is probably my favorite Lance Stroll release ever. Between that one and his 2024 helmet, 
They're my two favorites, but that pink helmet, I wish he would just release a general release on his website or something because I would love to get my hands on that pink one. And then I'll be pretty happy with my Lance Stroll collection to have one Williams, a couple of Astons, and obviously a racing point would be absolutely awesome to complete the Lance Stroll collection. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens with all that. And plus what Lance is doing with his contract. And I believe Lance is one of those drivers that once he leaves Formula One, he will be near impossible to get his signature in the future. All right, guys, so that's Lance Stroll's 2017 Formula One mini helmet. I hope you guys did like the video. A little quick review on that. Tell me in the comment section down below which other helmets you guys want me to review, what other drivers you want me to talk about, my experience with other drivers. Also, if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram, link down below. Like the video. Put notifications on as well. I do try and upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Plus, I do do race reviews after every single Formula One event. So, do all that. And I'll see you guys in my next Formula 1 video. Thank you.